Hi there folks, in this lesson I'm going to tell you how to create a thread using a lambda. Lambda functions are quite nice in that they allow us to uh, embed or encapsulate functions within perhaps other functions and can keep our code base nice and elegant. It's a very functional style of programming. So let me go ahead and show you how to do this with threads and recreate our previous example by using a lambda function. So previously I've had this test function here. What I'm going to go ahead and do is move it within our main function here, except I'm going to restructure it as a lambda. So this will be some uh, function that has a return value here. I'm actually going to rename it lambda, and it's still going to take in an argument of an integer uh, x here, and the body remains the same here. So this time, instead of launching the test function, well, I'm just going to execute the lambda function here. So I'll go ahead and recompile this program. This one I've called uh, thread2.cpp here. Go ahead and move myself out of the way so you can see it. I'll hit uh, enter to compile and I'll rerun and you'll see that we get the exact same functionality here. So that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and make it big just so you can see it on the screen once uh, if you want to see uh, all the lines of code. So here it is. All in its uh, glory here for you. And let me go ahead and just show you the constructor for our thread here. So that way you can see the different ways that you can uh, create threads. So for example, if you look carefully at the documentation, you'll see that there is no copy constructor. It doesn't really intuitively make sense to uh, make a copy of a thread. In fact, you'll see copy constructors deleted, threads are non-copyable. They can get a little bit wilder and look at some of the other things um, if you want to, um, for example, use some sort of move construction, but basically all I want to show you here is that you can construct a thread by passing in some sort of function and arguments. So whether this is uh, the actual address of a function like we did, uh, some function pointer, a standard function, or a lambda function. Those are all different ways that you can invoke a thread here. So you can take a look at some of the resources here or my example that I performed uh, for you here. And I hope that was uh, insightful for you. And you can see how to use Lambda functions to execute threads. Now, same rules apply in that we needed to still uh, join this thread here uh, from where we created it to make sure that our main thread would wait uh, for us to finish execution. But otherwise, you can now see a working example of how to uh, do this. All right, that's it for this lesson. We'll see you in the next one, folks. If you're enjoying this, like and subscribe, and we'll keep the series going.